Welcome back to this episode of Texas E36 Garage. You just saw last video we were in Bernie um, at the Classic Car Show. Well, while I was there, I got an email from BMW North America. Uh, they'd seen the video on Jalopnik and on YouTube. Uh, you know, the same video of me jacking up the car, saving it from the flood. Um, I guess it's been a couple months now, two months-ish, about. Um, they saw the video and they wanted to send over a care package to say thanks for being a dedicated uh, BMW M car owner. Um, so that was pretty awesome news. Uh, so the package just arrived, so let's see what we have in here. Um, they have nicely sent over a nice little M bag. Um, not sure if it's like a lunch bag or... What is it? It's a... I don't know. Fallen... But, it's a cool little bag. Uh, zipper front and side pouches on it. Pretty nifty. Uh, really like it. That's that's a really nice, nice uh, item there. We also have a nice day planner, guys. Uh, all the little bookmarks are in the M colors, which is pretty cool. And it says M, the most powerful letter in the world. Really cool. Gonna be cool to hang, to carry that around all my meetings and stuff at work. Um, and then they also sent a nice matte black with a gloss black M uh, thermos. That's really nifty too guys. Uh, but th big thanks to BMW North America for the little care package. Uh, really means a lot guys. Um, you know really really a cool thing to have. Um, but thanks to BMW for that. Uh, really look forward to putting all that to use. Um, also guys got in a little surprise for the uh, track car here. Um, nothing super special. This is literally an eBay special. Um, so we have a hot air intake on the, uh, on the track car right now. Which is a literally just this and a filter. So I ended up paying... Oh, uh, what? Five dollars? <laughs> I don't know what this thing was. This thing was like eleven dollars total shit. Um, but it's a, uh, you know, just your aluminum pipe. Some connectors. Send this, uh, send the intake down behind the bumper instead of the hot intake, air intake that we got. So, filter, literally just eBay special. Um, you know, just something to have. Get the filter down and away from the engine bay, which this will do. So, um, we'll put this on coming up on uh, this week on this video. Uh, should only take about like five minutes to put this thing on. Um, so, we'll put that on this video. I also got um, some LED strips. Again, um, a nice Amazon special. Uh, I use these all over the car for like trunk setups and everything. So uh, these are red. These are white. Um, I think they were seven bucks for 12 of them. Um, super easy to put on, double sided tape. Um, they're gonna go in the red car uh, for the upcoming Week Fest show. Uh, not sure what exactly I'm going to do with them yet, but, um, we'll see. Um, but we're going to put the white ones in the trunk to eliminate the trunk and a few other, like the tank and the, the, uh, air compressor on that. So, um, we'll get all those wired into, uh, this video. So, see you guys in a little bit. Going to jump out there to the track car. So guys, but before we start on the white one, and put the intake on. Uh, we have uh, the red one is dead, so I'm hooking up the battery charger to it so that we can uh, charge the battery. Um, it's been sitting. I thought this. I thought the uh, battery tender was hooked up, but it wasn't. So uh, we have to hook the battery charger up. Put so we can do stuff to that later. But we're gonna put this intake on here um 
to the white car. So uh, let me hook this up first, and then we'll jump over here to this and put this on real quick. So guys, we're in the engine bay now. As you can see, I have literally that same pipe. Um, this one's not even like fully in there. And that filter looks pretty much the same as the other one. But we'll throw that up there. We have this, um, I believe, it's gonna go down right here where that horn is. Um, so I think we're gonna have to remove the horn. So uh, let's go get the other intake and see where it sits. Okay guys, well, this one is one that came with it. As you can see, it's got this little nub thing. Uh, and that is for the, that I guess it was like the, uh, what is it, the airbox heater or something or other. Um, but I nicely eliminated that earlier. I think you saw us eliminate that when we were right there, uh, when we were working on this before. So we're gonna use this pipe, which is same thing. It's basically that pipe there, but without that on it. So um, we're gonna use this, take the filter off, and we're gonna throw this filter down under the bumper in there somewhere so uh and we're gonna use the new filter i don't want to use this old one um so let's get a screwdriver and we'll get to it well longer than i thought it was the blazes i don't know filters look the same just that this one looks pretty this one's dirty and old but pretty much the same filter one's red one's blue um so we'll save that one for a project one day or something um but now i don't know if this is gonna work right with this hose there okay i think it needs a short run maybe i just do that to Ah, we'll figure it out here. Let's get the um, horn off here. I don't know. Do I have one on that side? I don't have two horns. I have one horn, don't I? Oh, no, there's two horns. Eh, who needs a horn on a track car anyways? Uh, let's get under there. I think it's a 10 millimeter. Let's get under there and take the horn off real quick. And then uh, see what we got. Oh, guys. Went through a lot of sockets. I was like, could not figure out which one it was. But this is actually a 14, which is weird. But I'm just snaking up from underneath. Um, one, because I'm lazy and I don't want to get out a jack to lift up the car. So I'm just going to snake in there with a long extension. Um, and it's a 14. And I'll get on there. There we go. So now that we got the horn off, we can actually kind of lay out where we kind of want this intake to go. Um, let me move you guys here real quick. Bend you guys down. So we have this intake and we have this one. This one's the one I believe that is supposed to go here and then angle down the rest of the way. But I think I'm gonna swap this around. I'm gonna put this on this end, angle that down toward that, and then use this one. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get in there. 
and use this one on that. Oh, that might go too far. Shoot. And then that one on that one. Oh yeah. That puts us way too low. Like that. I don't know. Let's see. What do we got here? Let's put this on here. See if we can't. So now we got that on. There we go. Shove that all the way in. Which I guess that eliminates all the exterior filter. Only does that. Kind of weird. That doesn't seem good at all. Pull that out a little bit. Might have to cut this uh, pipe. Be a little bit longer. Let's put up. Now that we have that on there, let's put. We have all these nice little. Uh, already got one of those. And this one. <laughs> Gonna go on this. So we'll put this one on here. Like that. Put that clamp on there. Throw another clamp on there. We'll fish this up from the bottom and see if we can get this to fit on there somehow. So guys, we have this completed, which is basically what we had up here, just an intake. But we are going to snake this up from the bottom through the bumper. Uh, I don't have any of the plastic down there. So snake it up and try to get this onto the end of this pipe here. Um, and I'll throw a clamp on that so that it's already on there. So if we get it up there, see how we can, oh, won't fit under the bumper. So we are going to have to jack this up. Now the filter fits under here. Yay. And so let's shove it in here. Oh, well. See how that might well work. Okay. So we need to rotate it that way so it'll make it up and move some of, if not all, of this plastic. Let me lay down here real quick, guys. Oh, we got the the brake duct is in the way, but that's just quick little rubber stuff that gets twisted out of the way. But let's see where we are up top here. Oh, I see what we're stuck on there. Just need to bend that a little more that way. And I think the other horn has to be bent out of the way. So I'm just gonna grab it. I don't care about this car that much, about all the integrity stuff. Uh, I'm just gonna bend the horn out of the way. That bracket's pretty easy to bend. I'll bend that one out of the way. And that opens this up. To being able to almost I'm almost there. We are almost there. Just give it another little push. Did I not get it? There we go. It's up on the bumper. I think you can see it in there. Sitting pretty. Let's see where it sits here. Oh, we are almost there. We are right there. Da -da 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 -da. Almost. So let's. I'm gonna set you guys. How can I set you guys so you can see this? I don't know. Hang on, guys. I'm gonna put. Get all the wires out of the way. And I'm gonna slip this onto this pipe here. And then we should be done here. Oh, maybe another clamp or two. But yeah. Slip it on and let's bolt it down. So, guys, we have our pipe hooked up. Up here, as you can see the filter, in there a little bit, 
You might be able to see it. You, uh, it's there. It's there. So, our eBay uh, intake that cost us all of like $7, I think, uh, is done. We're on, we're done. It's there, it's cold air, it drops behind the bumper. It's really all I care about. Um, you know, it's a track car. It's, it is what it is till I start doing some uh, really track mining mods, which will probably end up being like the, the Euromaf and the injectors and a tune and headers and, and all that. But for right now, that'll work. Pretty simple. Done. So guys, as I was saying uh, before my memory card filled up, <laughs> This will be for sale. Um, can't remember who made this. Um, it came with a kit. Um, it came, well, it came with my supercharger kit. But this was actually made. It's a nice piece. Got carbon fiber. Uh, auto meter gauges. Uh, but I will put that up for sale here. Uh, once I get my new gauge panel in. And switch panel, I mean and start to take this out then i'll i'll list this for sale if you're interested comment let me know and i can get you this um the boost just hooks up with a uh you know a boost a, like a little vacuum hose i have the i think i have the sending units for both of those like a separate set of sending units for these two so um it should come with everything to hook all these up um i do not have this little one but you know those aren't horribly hard to find uh but that's what we'll do on that one as well as you can see as well as the shifter um you know we have a nice D ddm knob right now but we have a nice condor short shifter kit and shift knob and everything for this so um we'll be replacing that soon but not right now. Um, I wanted to get it in before week fest, but house stuff is coming the way. Um, so that's going to push this back a little bit. So guys, I know this video was super short, uh, but we got the intake done on the, uh, on the white M3, which it came in. You saw my BMW stuff that I got from BMW NA, which was really, really awesome. Um, and that, that was like an incredible gift. But, um, you know, we got at least the intake on. My plans for the red one, along with a few other little things. But, I gotta order some more stuff. But I also have house stuff to do. If anybody needs an exhaust, um, a lot of OEM. I got OEM OBD1 exhaust there. I have some miscellaneous piping. I have some headers for a M52 there i got a random generic muffler if anybody needs anything all that's gotta go um i'm gonna toss it all if no one buys it um you know shoot me an offer if you need something locally um i'm not gonna ship that crap just come pick it up because all of these all the walls all the sheetrock is coming off um this wall all the sheetrock's already off but that wall is all coming off and that wall is actually moving two feet three feet something that direction uh into the living room so that is going to be all of my work area for the garage is going to be up there and all this is going to be open so that's going to be a video in itself well a few videos in itself it's an incredible project and you're going to move it over you're going to hook up all the air hoses hard line the whole bit a lot of electrical plugs for me because I'm like running. I have one in this garage. So, um, thanks for watching this video, guys. Uh, I know it's a short one. I'm sorry, but uh, at least we got to work on the track car. So, subscribe, like, comment. Uh, if you have any questions, shoot it to me. Uh, shoot me a comment. Shoot me a message. Try to respond to everybody. Um, if you have any questions about the ebay intake um i'm about to buy maybe an ebay exhaust for the track car for the mid pipe and stuff so uh you know we'll see how that goes as well i'll do a video on that as well but 
Uh, thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching Texas Z36 Garage.